Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, best of luck. William Joseph has taken America by storm and has been in the UK supporting Catherine Jenkins and Blake. He's been composing uh, music since he was just five years old and he's joining us now for his first exclusive performance on UK television. Don't forget, you saw him here first. It's great <laughs> to see you this morning. Do you think this means we get a percentage of all your takings yeah. now? Oh, okay. Yes, that's okay. the way it works great. for Britain. You Did may they, not know yeah. that. Did they not mention that to you? <laughs> no, but oh, yeah, yeah, totally it's common fine. practice. Just 10%, <laughs> that's fine. It's great to see you. We've been absolutely fascinated watching you this morning and all our kind of menus and things doing that upside down thing. Where yeah, that's one that of my circus from? tricks. Yeah. Uh, I like to incorporate it in my shows sometimes and uh, it's just a fun thing to do. It's one of those things though, you would have thought that probably, you know, your brain must be wired slightly differently to be able to coordinate yourself that my way. My brain is definitely uh, wired differently. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but where did that come? Did you suddenly think, I'm just going to try this upside down? You, you know, my dad and I were watching the movie Amadeus and uh, it was about Mozart and he went to this party and all of his friends gathered around and picked him up and turned him upside down and so he crossed his hands and so my dad and I were watching this and he jumps off the couch and he's like, son, go do that. <laughs> Try it. And so I, I tried it. So I was like laying under there and you have to keep the song kind of short because all the blood starts to go to your head and you feel like you're going to pass out. Yeah. But uh, it's just it's just a fun thing. You're, uh, I mean, obviously, in, in music was born into you because it, I think it was the age of four, wasn't it, that you, you were playing in front of Fraggle Rock on your little tiny, you know, plastic piano. Yeah, this, the story goes that the theme song from Fraggle Rock came on and I guess I loved it. And so I ran and I got my little toy piano and threw it in front of the TV and I started playing along with it and my parents were standing behind me and they kind of looked at each other and they're like hey we should get them lessons and so that's and that's when yeah. it started and, and you, then you won a, a music scholarship because you were classically trained aren't you? Right, I had, this, I had this incredible Russian teacher and learned the strict hardcore classical uh, music uh, my entire life. This is Stella Sapestein. Stella, yes mm -hmm. and so she's been she's been great um, and on the side like I've, I've always like I love classical, but I've always kind of had a rebellious streak in me and love to do other things like playing upside down and uh, and just writing and, and... Is that not frowned upon in classical circles though? You know, in classical circles there's definitely a box that, that you're supposed to stay in and I always kind of went outside of that and I like to take Chopin and kind of make it my own and change it and mm -hmm. it, I guess it would appear as blasphemous to some, but um, I just love being creative and so love... So did you behave yourself in Stella's lessons? I mean, no. this, is a, this is a lady who, uh, <laughs> who was, uh, wrote, wrote this down, she was trained at the Leningrad Conservatory, so, yes. you know, this is a serious lady, right, a serious right. pianist and, well, and world-renowned, so when you were in her class, did you ever slip upside down and start playing like that? <laughs> Get back up the right way, William. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely tested her and tried her. Um, you know, she wanted me to be practicing 12 hours a day and that was my life and I couldn't, you know, I had to, you know, keep my hands protected and, and I was always into sports and I wanted to be out with friends and so I was kind of, um, you know, she didn't care for that part. Yeah. <laughs> but I just, I wanted to, to live and be free and do all of these things and still play. And I know you've got a lot of celebrity admirers because you've played at all the parties I've heard. Had a lot of, yeah. lot of fun parties I've been able to play at. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Tom Hanks and Oprah and Beyonce. Do you get nervous? Do you get more nervous in front of people like that or do you um, think about it? No. No, actually. Um, I mean, it's actually, well, the first couple of times, yes, it, it is a little intimidating. Who was the but first person you played for, first house that you went into? First house, well, one, one, of, the, one of the first shows um, was actually David Foster. Um, and that was, that was and kind of my big music break. Producer he's a music He's a producer, I mean, he's a world-renowned producer, and he, he's who I got my big break from. Mm. And well, you only went along, because he came to Phoenix, didn't he? And right, he came you, to Phoenix. You went along just to shake his hand. To shake his hand, like, hours before a big show. And um, he asked if I if I could uh, just play him a song, and so spontaneously I just went up on stage. He had his whole band sitting up there rehearsing, and I started playing the song that I wrote. And all of a sudden he starts conducting to the rest of the band that was on stage. And the next thing I knew, I was rocking out with this world class band. I've got this this producer, you know, wow. David Foster, conducting, and he said, "You're going to come back tonight, and you're going to open the show." And I thought I had passed the whole being nervous thing. Am I dreaming? I couldn't even dress myself when I got <laughs> home. I, mean, I, I was so scared because I knew what it meant. And, uh, and it truly was my big break. And it just yeah. has led me to so many different and, things. Well, we, and you've got your new album out, uh, Beyond. How, how would yeah. you describe your musical style then? Beyond is, is basically a soundtrack to a movie that hasn't been written. Mm. It's very dramatic. It's got these sweeping melodies, um, these romantic... Um, those, these romantic arrangements with or orchestration and um, but then also there's really a lot of excitement and it's just 
these epic themes. So you just, say you would like to write for movies as well. I would love to, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually on the verge. Um, yeah. I just met with Warner Brothers uh, Motion Pictures, and they just had a meeting, and they said, we want you to write music for our films. Well, before you get, you know, sort of so big for your boots, and, uh, <laughs> you know, we can't get you back, and you forget that you were ever here first. Forget that we launched that. your oh, career. I don't remember going in there. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, what? No. <laughs> um, you have another trick that you, you, that you can do for we're us, gonna and uh, we're going to ask anyway. you, because you, you can, we can give you four notes, yes. and you can compose something with just those four random notes. Most of the time. Okay. Well, I, <laughs> do, I don't are there know any what rules? Notes, what, yes. um, all that I ask is that you keep all of the notes within, I don't know, about kind of this, this area. Yeah. So, we choose so you may, maybe each one. of you choose two. So I do two, two now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm going to go. Now go, go easy on me. Sorry. He said to me this morning, <laughs> the weirder the notes, the weirder the tune. Yeah. <laughs> Can you remember okay. the two that you did? No idea. I do. Don't yeah. Okay. <laughs> We should write, shouldn't we? We should write. We should write. I we should should feel a Christmas album coming. Is that out. it? Um, <laughs> almost, almost. So, so we'll just call this song uh, Philip and Ruth. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Oh, yes. Thanks. Okay. Yes. Rillip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, anyone can do that. <laughs> it was all right. <laughs> it was brilliant. all right. So that's all Thank completely you. made up on the... On, it is. On the I'll never podcast. remember it again. Beautiful. Really? We will. Sensational. <laughs> now we've got you. it taped. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. Done. You're going you're gonna to play something for us now. Uh, this is Asturias. This is yeah? Asturias. This is off of Beyond, yeah. uh, the album I just released. Well, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you, you so much for having us. It's great, to meet our you. great pleasure. Thank you. Let's clear. We'll clear all our mess. Clear all our bits. Yeah, and uh, oh, and away you go. Sorry about that. Yeah. There we go. Asturias. Off you go. And just, uh, yeah, just remember, you saw him here first. <laughs> our, our own personal discovery. Yes. And happy well Christmas. Christmas. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Terrific. Yeah, and uh, wow. don't go away because Helen Mirren talking to her after, that, after the break. See you then.